Thank you. We'll go to Mr. Burchard himself. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Mr. Garcia. I would like to have you on the, my legislation to do just that on the, on the reporting, um, and we'll get together on that. Maybe you can be my co-sponsor on that. That'd be really cool. Thank you for those great questions. Um, Mr. Graves, again, I'd like to know, um, how do you know that these were not our aircraft? Some of the behaviors that we saw in a working area, we would see these objects uh, being at 0.0, .0 Mach, that's zero airspeed, over certain pieces of the ground. So what that means, just like a river, if you throw a bobber in, it's going to float downstream. These objects were staying completely stationary in category four hurricane winds. These same objects would then accelerate to supersonic speeds, 1.1, 1.2 Mach, uh, and they would do so in very erratic and, and quick behaviors that we don't, I don't have an explanation for. Okay. Have you spoken to um, commercial and military pilots um, that have seen these off of our East Coast? I have. Okay. Um, Mr. Favor, I noticed that um, um, in the Tic Tac video, uh, it's Tic Tac like the candy, not Tic Tac like the uh, Chinese Communist uh, app. app. That's correct. Yes, sir. I just want to make that because uh, my daughter. Uh, corrected me on that and called me a boomer and said, hey, boomer. And I said, no, baby, it's Tic Tac like the candy. You're going to have to just look it up. And, um, <laughs> but now I would also like to say today is a, is a day of many firsts. It's a um, miracle that we're having this, this meeting, and it's also a miracle that my wife has put up with me for nine years today. Today is my anniversary, so I want to tell my wife happy anniversary and that I love her very much. Um, as she likes to say, this nine years have been the best two years of her life. So... <laughs> Thank you. Um, Mr. Favor, what, what astonished you the most about the, the flight capabilities of these Tic Tac, very briefly? Uh, the performance, absolute performance. It was- And, and you're, you're not aware of any other objects that anybody in the world has in this world that has those capabilities? No, I think it's far beyond actually our material science that we currently possess. Are you aware of any other reconnaissance platforms that have tracked or recorded the Tic Tac's maneuvers, maybe the NORAD system or any of the others? I am not. Okay. Mr. Grush, thank you for being here, brother. Thank you all very much. Um, have you faced any retaliation or reprisals for any of your testimony or anything on these lines? Yeah, uh, I have to be careful what I say in detail because there is an open uh, whistleblower reprisal investigation on my behalf, and I don't want to compromise that investigation by providing anything that may uh, help provide somebody <laughs> information. But it was very brutal and uh, very unfortunate, some of the tactics they used to um, hurt me both professionally and, and personally, to be quite frank. Yeah, It's very unfortunate. As they say, when you're over the target, that's when they do the most firing at you. Do you have any personal knowledge of people who have been harmed or injured in efforts to cover up or conceal these extraterrestrial technology? Yes. Personally. Have you heard, have anyone been murdered that you would think, that you know of or have heard of, I guess? I have to be careful asking that question. I directed people with that knowledge to the appropriate authorities. Maybe in a, um, if we could get it, get in a um, confidential area skiff, we could talk about that, but unfortunately, um, we were denied access to the skiff, and that's very unfortunate in this, in this scenario. Um, Mr. Favor, do you believe that you witnessed an additional object under the water in relation to your encounter? I will say we did not see an object. There was something there to cause the white water, and when we turned around, it was gone, so there was something there that obviously moved. Okay, it was, it was not the same object, though, that you were, you were looking at, correct? No, we actually joked that the Tic Tac was communicating with something when we came back and could, because the whitewater disappeared. Uh, we were, in, in another instance, we're told about the capabilities of, of a jamming during viewing of some, when there were some people chasing some of these objects. Did you experience any of that jamming or interrupting your radar or weapon system? My crew that launched after we landed experienced significant jamming to the APG-73 radar, which was what we had on board, which is a mechanically scanned, very high-end uh, system prior to the APG-79. And yes, it did pretty much everything you could do, range, velocity, aspect, and then it <coughs> spit the lock, and the targeting pod is passive. That's what we were able to get the video on. 
Well, I'm about to run out of time, but um, are you aware of any of our enemies that have that capability? No. Okay. I would also like to note for the record that, um, like George Knapp, breaking Area 51, he's the reason I knew about that, and the reason I know about the, the Tic Tacs is, uh, is Leslie Keene um, from New York Times article, and I would encourage everybody to read that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back to you for no time.